and breaking news coming in from Gujarat. The Gujarat High Court has dismissed the bail application filed by Mumbai-based social activist Tista Setalwad in the case of alleged fabrication to establish of evidence to establish conspiracy. The court has rejected her bail plea and directed her to surrender immediately. In the case related to alleged fabrication of evidence to frame innocent people in the 2002 post-Godhra riots cases. Tista Setalwad is a Mumbai-based social activist and she is implicated in the case of alleged attempt of fabrication of evidence to establish conspiracy behind the 2002 riots to implicate nearly around six over 60 people. While dismissing her bail plea, Justice Nirzar Desai has asked her to surrender immediately. And joining me now on this for all the details from the ground is my colleague Priyanka from Gujarat. Priyanka, give us a sense of uh, what the court said. It has rejected Tista Setalwad's bail plea. That's right, Rukma. In fact, we have seen this entire matter being uh, put before the Gujarat High Court and this essentially had also been for asking for bail for the for uh, Tista Setalwad. And uh, this is, of course, the case that was being investigated against her with respect to how the fabrication of the statements had been going on. Uh, that was being done by Tista Setalwad along with uh, uh, Sri Kumar, who was the DGP at the time, and uh, Sanjeev Bhatt as well, uh, who had been named in the accused who had been carrying out the fabrication of the statements and uh, tutoring the witnesses for making false statements as well. So these were the investigating uh, points that the authorities had been looking into. And now, of course, a big blow to based on Fatal Bart so with respect to the Gujarat High Court now claiming that she will immediately have to surrender uh, before uh, the authorities and that uh, the caution that had also been made by the Fatal Bart in various other cases that had also been taken back. And now, of course, we are looking at uh, uh, Tisa Fedogar, who will have to come back uh, to Gujarat uh, and surrender uh, herself once again in this entire matter. We have seen how she had been first uh, sent to, she had been asked for police uh, custody. She had been brought from the Juhu residence of her uh, in Mumbai and then had been brought to Gujarat. She had been questioned, in fact, for quite some time with the crime branch officials. Uh, and uh, we had also seen how Sri Kumar and Sanjeev Bhatt were also asked to be. Uh, confronted with Tisa Fedelwad in the custody and of course post which she had been sent into judicial custody and then finally she had been able to uh, get out of the judicial custody with bail. But now we are looking at another matter with respect to the Gujarat High Court also uh, just adding trouble for Tisa Fedelwad with respect to this entire matter in which Ahmed Patel's name had also been coming to light Rukma, during the course of the investigation. We are seeing that uh, the Gujarat High Court that she will have to immediately surrender herself before the authorities. And joining uh, me now, Priyanka, stay with me. I also have with me our Republic Senior Executive Editor viewers, uh, Abhishek Kapoor, on the phone line on this. Abhishek, it's over to you to break down what this means, what has happened before. Tisa Setalwad already out on interim bail, we hear. And uh, 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 how would you, how should we look at this, uh, the rejection of her bail plea? Well, it was interim bail and uh, the interim bail was granted by the Supreme Court. So it's a legal process. Remember, Tisa Setalwa stands accused uh, uh, under IPC sections 478, 471, essentially forgery, fabrication of every false evidence uh, uh, intending to uh, uh, intending to uh, procure convictions of capital offence against somebody, you know, uh, institute criminal proceedings uh, to cause injury, uh, trying to frame a public servant with incorrect records. Remember, the case pertains to the time when Tista Setalwar, as an activist, uh, tutored certain witnesses uh, in the post uh, Godra riot cases uh, to uh, make certain officials. Uh, accused, even uh, targeting and dragging in the name of the then Chief Minister of Gujarat. Uh, subsequently, we have seen proceedings being started by the crime branch in Ahmedabad after uh, uh, after uh, the Supreme Court made an observation in the Zakia Zafri petition about a year and a half that uh, there seems to be a case of Mela Faide and uh, uh, those who are doing this uh, should be punished. 
And then we had the Ahmedabad crime branch registering the case, subsequent to which law investigation went into uh, and, and a collection of evidence happened. There were witness testimonies where uh, all these victims of Gujarat riots had actually said they did what they did because uh, Pista Chetalwad and her accomplices, including former DGP of Gujarat, R.B. Sri Kumar and uh, IPS officer Sanjeev Bhatt, uh, they tutored them and they asked them to do what they did. There are other uh, witness testimonies, including that of some lawyers, based on which Pista Chetalwad, R.B. Sri Kumar, both were arrested last year, I think in the month of June itself, uh, and uh, then she had uh, sought an interim bail pending uh, regular bail. Uh, the matter went right up to the Supreme Court via the Gujarat High Court, uh, and uh, she was granted interim uh, September. And since then, which has uh, come to uh, the Gujarat High Court, and now uh, this uh, order coming in, and uh, the Gujarat High Court has in fact rejected the uh, regular bail petition of Pista Setalwan and asked her to surrender immediately, obviously, which means that either she does it on her own or the police uh, and the bad crime branch goes and arrests her. That's how uh, it seems uh, 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 stacked up as of now. The Court of Justice, uh, Mirjar Desai, uh, rejecting the Pista Setalwan, has asked her to surrender immediately.